Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some girls go from red to blonde. If that sounds like a difficult task, well, you'd be correct. It's actually one of the most difficult things to do because you always end up with either orange or some sort of yellow left in the hair. It's just a lot, even for a professional hairstylist like myself, to make that happen. So if you're able to do that at home on your own hair, that's pretty impressive. We're gonna watch two girls today attempt to do just that and hopefully one of them succeeds. And hopefully Hopefully their hair doesn't, you know, disintegrate on their heads uh, as they bleach it. We'll have to see what happens. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Joe Roman, and this is called Epic Bleach Fail. My hair turned pink. What the f***? Brad Mondo, please help. I'm here, but I don't know if I can help you just yet. We will have to see what happens. I'm over this hair. I'm over this hair too. It's pretty bad, does that mean? I think a month or two ago, I don't know. I dyed it ginger and it was cute for a day and then it started to turn orange. Right. I do not want orange hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, this brownish color, but I'm trying to let my hair grow and it's just not working for me. Like this color is not working. Like my hair looks a mess. Listen, you said it, not me. The color is not working. It's really doing nothing for you. It doesn't go with your skin tone. Your skin tone is quite cool toned. You have pink undertones. I'm not enjoying this orange chestnut brown sort of moment. It's just weird. It could be a lot better and I'm looking forward to it being a lot better, hopefully. It's like flat here. One to be curls, the curl, curls trying to come through in the back. Beautiful curly hair though. I wanted to lighten my hair so I can put dye on it. That's what this video is, me going from dark hair to light hair with little to no damage. Okay, so the goal is to make her hair blonde with no damage and to keep her curls intact. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. We all know that's probably not gonna happen. Um, I mean, you have to use bleach to do this. So how is your hair gonna not be damaged from bleach? You know what? Something's gonna happen. I can feel something really bad is gonna happen with this one. In a bucket, I have my lightener. Yes, we are doing that. Okay. We are doing a bleach wash, you guys. We are mixing shampoo with lightener and 30 volume, which honestly isn't the worst idea. The thing is with her, you know what? It is a bad idea. Her hair is so short. She's gonna have a really hard time avoiding her root area. If she puts a bleach wash on her root area, it's gonna turn orange because that's not enough lightning power to make it nice and bright white. What I would have recommended was bleaching her roots first, making it all nice and blonde, and then pulling the lightener through her ends as she rinses it out and letting it sit there for like five or 10 minutes until those red molecules release from her hair. Otherwise, she's gonna end up with orange roots and probably yellow ends. That's what I'm predicting is gonna happen. I don't really know. Let's see. Let's keep watching. Eyeballing it. We love it. No directions. It's fine. I put a lot even though I do not have a lot of hair, but I want to make sure that it's all covered. Oh god. So I don't have to bleach it again because I don't really want to damage my hair too much. So I just added more developer. I just added shampoo. This is definitely going to dilute the bleach formula, putting that shampoo in there. So it's going to bring that 30 volume down to a 20 volume. And you know, the nice thing about a bleach wash is that it's so easy to lather the bleach which is cool like having a bleach that lathers which I know I always say bleach doesn't lather but in this case it does and it just makes it a lot easier to distribute the bleach throughout the head and put it on really fast and rinse it off really fast and the more you rough it up with your hands that cuticle ends up releasing that color easier and that's what's so great about a bleach wash I do them a lot on people that need to have that top layer of color released and put a new toner on to replace the previous one stuff like that okay we're putting it on those ends. Oh God, this is gonna be so tragic. She's already getting it all over her roots. There's no turning back now. I don't know if the goal is to not get it on the roots, but she's doing a very bad job at avoiding them. Uh, stop putting it on your roots. It's gonna be so orange. I'm not getting my roots. I'm gonna put my roots on. I'm gonna try to just put it on my hair first and then I'm gonna get my roots. I can see can't seem to let it grow. So she said she's gonna put this on her ends first and then put on her root color after. <sighs> Do it the other way around next time. Oh my God, it's already changing. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's turning hot pink. It's turning purple. Perfect. <laughs> like I said, I get to like the awkward. Of oh God. I, I just can't. 
It's not for me, but I'm gonna try to stick it out for the hundredth time. Oh God. Yeah, sometimes that happens where the red just goes completely hot pink. She most likely had a kind of violet red in her hair previously. And so that violet pigment is really showing up. And sometimes what happens is the orange molecules show up a lot more. But yeah, the pink is typically even more difficult to get out, so. Girl, the application. We have no sectioning going on whatsoever. She's like, that. I'm just gonna put this all over my head and go for it. Oh, I'm stressed just watching this. I'm stressed just watching this. I'm stressed just watching this. Why is it getting more and more pink as it processes? Oh, now we're combing it through. No! This is not the color that it was. I do like the pink better on her. Maybe it'll all come together in the end and the pink will look kind of cute. Or maybe she'll color it pink. Or maybe it'll somehow turn blonde in the end. Her roots are gonna start getting orange and I, can, uh, I just know it's gonna happen. Did I mess something up? Did you mess something up? Yes, the entire thing. There wasn't one thing you did right. No, I'm actually kidding. You did a few things right. Yes, I literally was on YouTube and I watched one of Brad Mondo's videos about bleach and fails. <laughs> I literally want to cry. This has never happened to me. Now you're in it. So welcome. My hair is turning light brown at the roots. <sighs> In some places, some places are still- It's so pink. Where's the pink? She has dark spots in the back she missed. Honestly though, the pink's kind of cute on her. As long as she can get those roots to match, we could be onto something. It turned pink. There's no way that it's turning blonde. Like, I don't get how did it turn pink. <laughs> She's pissed. At this point, I might as well just shave my head because- Oh yeah. It's pink. You're acting like the color before the pink wasn't a little bit worse. Come on. We're better off with the pink. Let's not be too mad about it. It could have been worse. It could have turned green. Actually, green's kind of cute. I don't know why everybody hates the color green. Green's beautiful. But uh, pink, pink is more beautiful, I'd say. Um, And I'm okay with this. How did my hair turn pink? Because you bleached red out of your hair. It wasn't going to just turn white. And honestly, even if you went to a professional, there's not much we can do about this. I mean, if your hair was going to turn pink, it was going to turn pink. So we're going to take this off. This is my first time looking at it. I just put this in, on right in the shower because I was scared. I really hope that the pink washed out. It's even worse than I thought it was gonna be. What the f is this? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what the f is that? Your ends look like they're gonna fall off. You have pink midsections and orange roots. I hate to see it. I really hate it. My hair looks a hot mess and it's clearly. Not even a hot mess, just a mess. The store and see if I can find something to undo whatever this is. Oh no, we're gonna try and undo it. I'm gonna put this back on. I felt better with this one. All right, well, she was trying to go blonde, but she ended up with pink hair. And I know the title of this video is going red to blonde, but apparently this is taking a turn that I was not expecting. Um, and I don't feel like changing the title of this video. So she's now gonna split hair dye her hair. We'll just quickly watch what she ends up doing. If you're anything like me, I wanna know what actually ended up happening to her hair. So let's find out. It's gonna start off by obviously splitting the hair. I'm excited for this though. This is gonna look really good on her. She's going purple and half blue. She has a good base to do this on. Um, it's light enough. I'm glad she's not putting like box eye over her hair. That would be like the worst thing she could do right now. Is it even? Yes, we're doing dark purple. This is also gonna make her hair feel a lot healthier and probably look a lot healthier. We're working our way around with the purple. I can't wait to see the blue side. Let's fast forward to that. Yellow and blue make? Someone comment below and let me know what yellow and blue makes. The damn sure don't make more blue. That's a really pretty blue though. I'm excited for this. It's gonna be green. It's okay. I mean, I feel like a little bit of green will probably turn out turquoise. And we're almost done. I can't wait to see the outcome. Here's how my hair came out. Oh, oh my God, that's so fun. And video is coming up dark. It covered up most of the mess ups she did previously. I actually split it pretty even. I like how it came out. I'm so glad she fixed that mess. It's still not perfect, but it looks a whole lot better. By the way, for the haircut, I feel like you should do like shorter on the sides. I feel like you just need a little bit more structure in your haircut to make it look a little more badass. 
instead of just like a grown out haircut, you know what I mean? If you do that and keep this sickening split hair dye moment, it'll look so good. Uh, and I'm glad you ended up with something at least wearable and that looks pretty decent. Great job. Well, not really. You kind of f***ed it up really bad, but we'll pretend we didn't see it. Okay, on to the next video. This one is by Cloco. How I went from bright red to blonde at home. I'm very interested in how you did that, actually. The first thing is color before. I've used this before. It's really good with dark hair. I don't know if it's going to do too much to my hair because it's already kind of stripped, but I'm going to focus it on this red area. Then I have three of these Jerome Russell B Blonde 30 volume developers. I didn't want to go up to 40 volume because my hair's not crazy dark, so I thought 30 volume would be okay. Then I have the Jerome Russell B Blonde toner in platinum. I have the Jerome Russell B Blonde Powder Bleach, which you need for the cream developer. I also have head and shoulders and vitamin C tablets. I'm going to try that method if the hair color stripper doesn't strip a lot out. That's what I'm going to try. And lastly, I ordered, I know you can only get this in America and I really, really wanted to try it because it seems to save everybody's hair, but it's the Wella T18 toner and the 20 volume color charm developer. No idea how I'm going to use this, but I guess it's all a learning curve. It says, you know, how to use it on the back. Whoa, that was an assortment of things she's going to use in her hair. I think I've explained this before. I don't love color remover. I just don't think it's that effective and I'd rather just speed it up with some bleach. And usually the outcome is just so much better with bleach. And I just think it's a waste of time, period. Um, I don't care if you disagree. Uh, <laughs> we all have our own opinions on that, but to do color remover, vitamin C, head and shoulders, bleach, a toner, your poor hair is gonna go through so much. Ah, also, can we just quickly evaluate her hair there's a lot going on we see like a speck of brown root we see a bright red after that then we see a little bit of a blonde section and then we have like orange coppery ends oh this is gonna be a lot um hopefully she can like even this out a little bit more i'm thinking the worst is gonna probably happen you know i don't know if anything good's gonna yeah okay i, I think this is still gonna be uneven in the end maybe even more so okay so she is applying the color stripper directly on her roots I'm I'm pretty sure every single color remover says not to apply to the roots. It is not scalp safe. I'd say I never have read a color remover label that says to apply to the roots. It always says to apply to the mids and the ends first, and then honestly never apply to the roots because it's just not made for that. Her roots are gonna end up turning bright orange and it's gonna be such a f <sighs> I left this on for an hour, but I just wanted to look at it and I thought we should look at it together. Whoa! Oh, I missed a little bit here. It's like my baby hair. Huh. Looks pretty blondy ginger, I guess. Huh. Really impressed. Same. So, I'm gonna go and wash this off. Wait, what? Obviously, yeah, this is like an orange and this is a blonde. But realistically, I won't have to bleach my hair loads tomorrow now. I know you guys think I'm very dramatic all the time, which I definitely am, but I'm actually like intrigued and shocked and I want to try that color remover because somehow it didn't lighten her root, but also got rid of all the pink and red on her ends. What was in that sorcery of a magical color removing kit? What was that? Who makes that? What? How did that work out so well? Her hair looks great. Oh my God, what? They are gonna be using foils, I guess, which I'm happy about. That will help incubate and warm up the bleach. That way it processes longer, faster, and brighter. I am very satisfied right now. Oh, the one thing that I wanted them not to do was keep painting the root um, because her roots are already so much lighter than her ends. Her ends are like orange and her roots are quite a nice blonde color. If they paint the root with the ends, it's gonna end up still being like mismatched. It's gonna end up with the lighter root with the darker ends. Ends. I would have rather them just hit the ends um, and any other darker areas, but all right. Well, I mean, maybe it'll end up even eventually somehow. Um, we'll see what she ends up doing, but it's definitely a pet peeve of mine to have lighter roots than your ends. Also, are they going to do a retouch on her roots? Like, are we just going to leave them like that? If you came into the salon, what I would have done is just retouched all your roots. After that, I would have foiled all the ends of your hair with like 30 volume and bleach and done really fine foils and a lot of them 
That way your roots process at the same time your ends are processing. And then after 45 minutes to an hour, everything is an even beautiful blonde color. Then I would have toned it. Basically the plan is to do half of my hair because I literally have so much hair. So we're gonna do half of my hair, wash it out, then not wash it out with shampoo or anything, just wash it out. Then do the other half of my hair, then wash it all out, wash it all together, do my roots, wash it again, then tone it. So we have a situation, we run out of bleach and I have this part of my hair and We're finished bleaching. My hair is looking this shade here. Now I'm gonna turn it with the Wella T18. So it has to be put on towel dry hair, I believe. Okay, so now we're using 20 volume and T18. Her hair is most likely not light enough for T18 since T18 is a level 10 toner and her hair looks to be probably at a level eight, slightly brighter than that, eight and a half, I'll give it to her. I mean, it's probably gonna make her roots gray and her ends like a little bit lighter. Um, she's also using 20 volume, so it is gonna have a little bit of a lifting moment to it. It could be decent. Again, not the most optimal toner, but I will say that, you know, stores don't really have good toners, so I, I don't blame you guys for always grabbing T18. T18 is fine. Okay, I don't hate T18. I really don't. People just never use it right. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, okay, see, here it is. Her ends are a level 8 orange, and her roots are pure white. You want your whole head to look like her roots in order to use T18. I mean, hopefully the 20 volume just does a little bit of a lightning moment on them. They look way too orange to be using this. It's not gonna look good. It's still gonna look so uneven even it's gonna make me so mad. We were doing so good until this this very second. So basically we have to leave this in for half an hour, so see you in half an hour. So guys, this is my new Oh! I am in love with it. I can't stop looking at myself and looking at it. Obviously it's not white, which is what I wanted, so I'm gonna have to do bits to this bit, but for now, I love it. Okay, 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 okay. There's some good things going on with this. There's some also really bad things going on with this. Her roots are beautiful. Snow white. Oh my God. The most beautiful white I've ever seen. The most beautiful shiny hair ever. Oh, it's so pretty. Her ends, however, I mean, she knows it. They're still orange. They're a bit of a mess. I'm a little disappointed that it's not completely blonde all over. What you need to do is bleach those ends again. Don't touch the roots anymore. Bleach the ends again. Bleach them until they are light enough, like pale, 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 pale yellow. You'll know how far your hair can go before it snaps off. Not me so just don't push it too far and it snaps off obviously i don't want that to happen to you and then you need to tone them again once you do that hopefully your hair is flawless and perfect and all of it is white head to toe but other than that pretty decent job for what you started with to what you ended up with pretty good congrats Okay, wow, two very interesting outcomes, not the total best. And this is why you don't make your hair red and then try to make it blonde by yourself at home. It's just never a good outcome. It's really difficult. Don't try it or do and record it for me. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, it's right down there, you know where it is. Also click the bell icon and the like button. That would be awesome for me. Follow me everywhere else. I'm everywhere dude so like keep up with me and let's keep up with each other make sure you guys check out my hair care line xmondo hair at xmondohair.com it's linked below you can also go to xmondo hair on instagram and check out all that we have to offer make sure you guys text me and i will be texting back some of you guys personally and yes this is a real number that i can actually text you on personally it ain't no robot okay okay today's instagram shout out goes to cc and she says that she's going into her last year of high school and she wants to look the best she can look and she doesn't care what color just she wants to know what i would recommend to her to make her look fierce as fire uh okay cc i mean you already look so fierce i do like those e-girl pieces in the front of your hair i wish they were maybe like pink i really do like your hair right now honestly i think you should just keep what you have maybe dye the underneath of your hair blue and then do the front pieces of your hair pink i think that'd be like a really fierce fun look that other people wouldn't have and so you would just be like that at school and you'd be like don't f with me. So definitely try that and let me know if you do it. I would love to see a picture. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.